We have two very different ideas to hold together today, two very distinct images of our Lord, and both of them are contained in the reading from John's Gospel that we just heard. One is at the beginning and one is at the end. The one at the beginning gives us the theme of today, because today, in case you haven't been hammered over the head by it already, is Good Shepherd Sunday. In the old tradition of the church on this day, we link this way Jesus tries to explain himself to the people around him with a long list of appropriate imagery, the 23rd Psalm, and a couple of the hymns you're going to hear and anthems the choir is going to sing and even the collect of the day. But at the end of that eight verse long gospel reading, we get a very different image of Jesus, an image of command, really the image of a ruler, of a king. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. These are two very different images, images that are hard to hold together at once. So I want to call in a little help in giving you a way to think about these today, a little help that I'm going to draw from something you are sure to meet up with again and again and again and again. I'm speaking of that old war horse of cantatas, Handel's Messiah. I want you to leave here today with just a little bit of a music appreciation lecture. So here goes. You all know, of course, that Handel didn't write the words for his great oratorio. The King James Bible did that with a little help from the librettist Charles Jennings, the fellow who selected the text from the Bible and arrange them to tell the story Handel wanted to tell. But it was Handel who matched the music to the words, and that is where his mastery shows, because Handel was a text painter. His music is composed to reflect and express the ideas held in the words. Even if you only have the slightest familiarity with the Bible, the texts are told to you in the music itself. When it comes to sheep in the Messiah, Handel has plenty of sources to draw on, and he turns to the prophets, specifically to Isaiah and the sixth verse of the 53rd chapter. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Simple enough, but listen to how Handel describes these sheep that we are. First, it's simple. And then we start wandering off along the hillside. First the boys, and then the girls. And finally, all of the sheep are bounding off in all directions of the country. So Handel gives us the prophet's image of sheep, simple, perhaps, happy, yes, but willful, wandering, scattered, all around the hillside, seeking our own fortunes, filled with our own ideas, not seeing our true place in the scheme of things, and certainly willing to follow off behind just about any shepherd promising us more of what we think we want. But then there is the other image we have today, the image of the king, Christ the king, the king shepherd, king of kings and lord of lords. Those are the words Handel uses, this time from Revelation, the 19th chapter. And even though most of you can call up that music from memory, here it is again. What do you notice about that musical description? It is absolutely solid, immovable. It practically stands still. The melody is an insistent repetition of the same note, the Christ who stands at the still point of the whole universe. 
and then it ascends, step by step, as though approaching the throne of God. Christ the shepherd comes after us when our willful ways set us wandering away. When the temptations and disasters of this world come crowding in on us, Christ the shepherd king stands as the fixed point in our world, the world in which we insist on chasing after each new passion, each new idea, each glimpse of greener grass. The shepherd who becomes the victim becomes the Christ who rises triumphantly from the dead. The king who sits at the one point in the whole universe that is not spinning out of control and taking us along with it, driven by our fears or wandering away after our own desires. That king is the shepherd who knows our natures and despite all of that comes looking after us finds us stands right in front of us until we are no longer afraid the king who is the shepherd knows us sheep better than we know ourselves He will stand at the still center of our world, stand at the one place of safety that is left to us. And when we finally make up our minds and run, he will receive us into his arms with joy. That is our king. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Amen. Amen.